Uno Mas. This is inside the Vista Mall. Food truck, taco food truck. Just a couple days left now before we fly back home to the U.S. Um, we're just kind of doing some last-minute things before we leave, and uh, we're sitting here at the Social Security office this morning. Cecile will pay her SSS payment, and she wants to uh, make sure that she has Liam as her beneficiary on that. She was pretty sure she did, but she wants to double-check it. Uh, she's gonna do that today uh, She has to get some kind of a paperwork from the barangay for a, a new savings account that we opened and She's gonna go to the Peg Ebig office and inquire about starting a savings with them um, She has a follow-up with the dentist and She's got a couple more things that she wants to pick up from the grocery store. So last night we went to the mall and got some essentials from the grocery store to take back with us to the U.S. Some uh, whitening soap and things like that. Cosmetic stuff that she likes, prefers uh, from here. So she bought a few products and of course you got to have the skin whitening soap. So she loaded up on that and... Uh, we ate dinner there last night. There, they had some uh, food trucks inside one of the stores, which I thought was kind of neat. And we tried the Mexican food. Um, while we were shopping at the grocery store, we had a uh, subscriber come up to us and introduce himself, Kev. And uh, we met him and his wife, got to talk to them a little bit while we were in the checkout lane. And uh, he was telling me that they live also in the barangay where Cecile grew up where her mom lives so they're kind of from the same area his wife uh, lived her whole life uh, in that same uh, barangay as Cecile and uh, he's from the UK and retired last year I'm not sure exactly when they moved to the Philippines but uh, they live here now and he said he's really happy and best thing he ever did so we enjoyed meeting them we'll try to get together with them again next time we're here uh, because we're leaving tomorrow so kind of difficult to do much of anything right now so you know we're always happy if somebody approaches us and introduces themselves and we'd like to chat a little bit with you guys so if you ever see us out anywhere feel free to come up and say hello so last couple days always get a little bit hectic we got a lot of uh last minute things everything that you put off until the end of your trip you got to take care of last couple of days so that's kind of what we're doing today taking care of all the office visits that we've been putting off and tonight we'll finish packing the suitcases and just kind of uh, preparing the house any things that we need to do while we're going to be gone for a while uh, we've got some things outside that we need to bring inside we don't like to leave our 
furniture outside or Cecile has some uh, decorative stuff she brings inside so we'll get a lot of that stuff done tonight and uh, tomorrow morning we will head to Manila Cecile's brother will drive us to Manila we'll stay the night and then fly out the next day so a uh, little bit hectic right now with all the last minute stuff so it's kind of starting to sink in now with everybody that the trip is coming to an end and we'll be back home back to work um, I don't like to complain about work because we're always grateful to have work and able to do the things we do because of work so uh, happy to get back to work but always kind of not happy to leave because we're kind of uh, when we're here we're in vacation mode so I always hate to see it come to an end but eventually uh, we do have to go back home and go back to work so that's what we're getting ready to go do well we're back here at the st. Joseph's Church parking dropped Cecile off at the bank and uh, she got her uh, whatever paperwork she needed from the barangay hall and she is finalizing her savings account so we're just waiting for her over here there's nowhere to park at the bank so we came over here to park and she'll just meet us over here and then uh, last stop is Peggy big as far as I know I think there's some stuff she wants to buy from the store so we may have to hit the mall or Walter Mart one more time then we're all done. I think also she's got to got to take out some money for our trip to Manila. We got to get some money for the gas and food so her brother can drop us in Manila. Not long now. Let's go look over here, Liam. Kind of curious about this area over here. It's a burial. There's a burial area here, but I don't know. Well, maybe we should be not master by everything. It's okay. It's alright. We can be here. I think these are the people who um, died. Yeah, it's a, like a cemetery. But uh, You can see a lot of times they're coming and burning the candles. Let's go in the back. Mm-hmm, whack. Don't, don't mess with it. Just okay. leave it hanging. Leave it there. That's cool. Yeah, don't touch. Okay, Some more over here. This one. Look at this one and all the wax dripping on this one. Oh my god. The wax stuff. Mm-hmm, it's wax. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, come on. Leave it there. Yeah. Don't it's disturb. This one just has flowers in it. This one's a really good eye. There's still many of these available. So this is just right next to the church. Attached to the church here. They got chairs here people can use while they're here. Uh, I think we came in over here, Liam. Don't get lost in here, you won't be able to get back out. Okay, this way, go through this gate here. There's some shade. Maybe we can sit here in the shade a little bit. So a lot of you guys know that the Catholic Church uh, is very influential in Philippines communities and society. Uh, you'll see a lot of Catholic churches all throughout the Philippines. Uh, yesterday, 
uh, I forgot where we were going. I think we were going to pick up Cecile's mom. And we saw a lot of people walking down the street with these small, like a uh, doll, child statue. And I think Cecile told me that was a Santa Nino, maybe? But it's something to do with, uh, they will take that to the church and I think they will have th that blessed and then they will put it in their home. But I think yesterday was some kind of a uh, special holiday. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of Catholics here, a lot of Catholic churches, and they're pretty uh, serious, you know, practicing Catholics, attending all the masses, doing all the ceremonies and things throughout the year that Catholics are supposed to do. Uh, if you're active in the church, so you will see a lot of that here when you come to the Philippines. So if you're Catholic, you might, you might feel right at home. There's also a big presence of the, uh, I believe it's Church of Christ, Iglesia Necristo, I think is the uh, same as Church of Christ, I believe. I could be wrong, but you will see many of those uh, churches as well. Starting. You know what that means? What? That means it's the top of the hour. I believe it's 10 o'clock. Ring the church bell. Top of the hour. Oh, I hope that's not a copyrighted church bell. Copyright strike. So Liam and I will just sit here and do the Meritess. We will do the gossip while we're waiting for mom. <laughs> right? So we'll just sit here and gossip while we're waiting for Cecile. Maybe we can get someone to join in our gossip. Well, we got plenty of seating here, so. Anybody wants to come sit and talk, just pull up a chair. We'll be here. St. Joseph's Church, right in the back where the parking area is. I have a chair here. No, I'm talking to the viewers. We'll be here for a little while. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if we will post this video before we leave or not. See if there's anything going on inside the church. I don't think there is. service. No service right now. We'll give them a, give the viewers a glimpse of St. Joseph's Cathedral here in Milano. We attended a wedding here once. One of Cecile's cousins got married here. Yeah. Yeah, we attended a wedding ceremony here. We might be able to find something that shows the date of the church when it was built. Or you guys can search that online also, but it's... Uh, this church has been here for a long, long time. Then they've got these gigantic ceiling fans in here. I've seen a lot of the churches here in the Philippines have these huge ceiling fans. It's not bigger than... And on Sundays, this place is full. They even have people outside because it's too full inside. That's where the priest will sit on Sunday when he's not speaking.
take a look at these tiles here for just a minute. These tiles. getting nervous that means maybe you've been a bad boy let's go out this this way come on let's go this way it's not it's church Lena. no this is just where they have their church offices yeah see they're they're able to hook that to something or pull it special occasion. All these things here are for special occasion. That's a float also, they will pull that. Uh, I don't know what it says, but it's something, something that they will carry. And then here's the crosses they will carry. Finally, we have another gossiper coming. We don't have topic, so maybe she will have topic. So, how did it go at the bank? Oh, yeah. Good. But still, to, still need to put the pin, and then the ATM machine have a long line, so I. Oh, you I see the pin number. Back. You can sit. You can sit here. I decided to relax for a minute. To come back. So you go a different time and do your pin number. Maybe That's just tonight. for withdrawing, right? From the no, machine. Oh, you need the pin number for your account. Okay. So you got that one accomplished. Uh, the Pag Ebig, pretty busy, so we don't know if we will do that one today. Social Security, you got that one done. And then now we're done at PDO, except for the pin number. You will do that maybe later. So what else is left now? We finished at the barangay. We just need to maybe go to the store. Go to the dentist. Oh yeah, the dentist. Cecile's gonna get a new wire on her braces. And then maybe we will go to the store. And then, then we're done. So Liam and I are just sitting here gossiping while we're waiting for you. <laughs> and then we toured the church. So I just telling them things we're doing last minute to prepare before we leave Philippines. We'll be leaving the Philippines soon, so. All right, that's it. <laughs> Ready to go, finish up. Okay, let's go, Liam. We'll finish our last few errands and then our last day in Belanga will be complete then it's on to Manila so thanks for watching everybody take care and we'll see you on the next video